And now it's time for the sponsor perspective portion of our program. And for that, I'd like to invite to the podium Richard Averill, principal at the Hesperian Group, LLC, and Mark Collin, president and general manager of 3M Health Information Systems. Mark, the stage is yours. Okay, good morning. So, uh, Rich, our customers are primarily hospitals, primarily US-based hospitals. And they're under a lot of pressure from a lot of different angles, cost, patient experience, quality. Uh, at the same time, there's a lot of data out there. There's EHRs now, there's probably more data than there's ever been. Can you talk a little bit about maybe what the role of data is in helping them solve some of those pressures? Sure, well, as you say, there's massive amounts of data. Technology today lets us accumulate and store massive amounts of data. You have the EHRs. Uh, that now can collect coded data, structured data, free text data, images, all being collected. And as we heard about earlier, we also have massive amount of vertical and horizontal uh, integration. So now we're dealing with multiple sites of service. So data is coming in from physicians' offices, from home health agencies, from skilled nursing facilities, uh, from same-day surgery units, from ERs, from inpatient. All this data is streaming in. And it's almost become too much data in some sense of how to go through it and sort, sort through it all. Unfortunately, the approach has tended to be, well, we'll produce massive numbers of pre-specified reports, just piles and piles of reports. Or at the other end of the extreme, essentially what you get is we'll give you total flexibility to do any kind of drill down that, that you want. And so with all the data and all the flexibility, it almost becomes paralyzing for clients to try and figure out what, what to do, to even hire the right people who can do that and take care of uh, and, and actually be able to do all the drill downs. And so, and then on the other extreme, there's this notion of big data, that the big data technology is suddenly going to appear, it's gonna be able to sort through all the data and magically yeah. give us uh, the answers we need to manage better. So what we must figure out to do, be able to do, is to understand delivery systems and how delivery systems interact and function as an organization, to identify the opportunities for real improvement and try to get at the underlying root causes. Can you talk a little bit about sort of the role of technology and maybe the interaction between technology and maybe the human element, the real insight that can come from that when you can put put those two factors together? Well, a lot of it is ultimately going to come down to, as I said, with vertical and horizontal integration, we're basically building many enti entire delivery systems. And we have to solve what I call the codependence problem. And there are various different kinds of codependencies uh, out there. One is site of service codependency. So let's say we're looking at a hospital and they appear to have a readmission problem. Uh, well, but if you look deeper, you find that, well, it's not so much the hospital, but they're using two skilled nursing facilities, and the two skilled nursing facilities have a readmission problem. So instead of focusing on what's going on in the hospital, you need to focus on what's going on in the skilled nursing facilities. Or conversely, do the skilled nursing facilities have a problem, as they appear to do, or is it because the hospital is sending them patients discharged too quick, too sick? You got, one has to begin to understand the interaction within the delivery system of the various sites of service and how they interact and how they influence performance across sites of service. The second is what I'll call uh, measure codependencies. So clearly, if you're trying to understand how a delivery system is working, you want to look at as many different measures of performance as possible. So you may be looking at a hospital and you say, well, apparently they have a length of stay problem. They're just keeping their patients too long. But if you delve a little further, you find that they have a problem with complications. They have too many complications. The reason their length of stay is long is their complication rate is high. Too many patients are getting pneumonia after they get admitted. Too many patients are getting, going septic after they get admitted. And so you don't focus on solving the length of stay problem. What you do is focus on, on solving the complication problem. So ultimately, what it's all about is getting at root causes. Where are, my, where are the opportunities within the delivery system to improve? improve? What are the root causes that are, that are causing these uh, negative performance results within the delivery system? Okay, 
say so, Rich, I mentioned that our customers are primarily U.S.-based hospitals. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some business with payers. Can you talk a little bit about the, maybe the motivations and the role of payers and providers in, in getting value from the kind of insight that you're talking about? For both payers and providers, if we're, one is going to have a system from the payer perspective of monitoring what's going on in individual providers, from the provider perspective in understanding what, what, is, uh, what is happening with their performance within their delivery network. Uh, I th there's basically four things that need to be done. Uh, first, one has to answer the compared to what question. So if you're going to improve performance, if you're going to find root causes, you have to say, well, compared to what? What that means is you have to be able to do risk-adjusted comparisons to best practice across a wide range of measures. So you need to be looking at measurement of performance, dozens of various measures, you know, the obvious things, readmissions, complications, length of stay, and, and, and so on. But there, there's dozens of other things to look at. And you need to be able, on a risk-adjusted basis, to compare that to best practices. Uh, secondly, you have to identify, well, what are the root causes? How do I improve? What are my opportunities to improve? Uh, and that gets at getting at all the codependency issues that we understand. That is the thorniness problem, understanding those code, uh, codependencies to be able to ultimately get at what is really the root cause of the performance problem. Uh, thirdly, you have to be able to prioritize and, and focus. And so you need to be able to look across the entire delivery system and say, if I have limited resources, limited resources to pursue opportunities to improvement, where do I deploy those resources? Do I, is my major problem in, in the ER? How many patients are going to the ER? How much it costs for the patients in the ER? Is my major problem with the home health agencies that I'm using or the skilled nursing facilities I'm sending my patients to? I have to be able to sort all those things to get at the root causes of poor performance within the delivery system. And then finally, and I can't emphasize this enough, at the end of the day, if the delivery system is going to change, that means behavior is going to change. And more often than not, yes, sometimes it's administrative behavior that needs to change, but more often than not, it's clinical behavior that needs to change. That means that the data that's presented, how it's presented, has to be clinically credible, it has to be understand understandable, the healthcare providers, and in particular the physician community. So it takes a lot of effort. I mean, you can't run regressions and give people a score and say your score is this and really think that that's going to really give enough understanding to motivate change. You have to do things like we did with the DRGs, where you essentially created a language. The DRGs were only were basically a language that said, this is how you communicate financial information to physicians. And so you have to design the entire system to be clinically credible. And so, unfortunately, I'm unaware of any system out there that actually does all that, uh, that actually puts all those pieces together. Uh, that's why I want to mention that uh, Verily, uh, uh, who's the life sciences portion of Google and 3M have now teamed together. Uh, we basically said, we haven't seen anyone solve this problem. Let's take 3M's extensive regulatory knowledge, it's, it's, it's from its DRG heritage and everything we learned and try uh, on how to improve performance, and, and obviously there, there is huge computing power and so on, to let's team together and see if we could solve that problem. And so we're in the early stages of releasing that, and uh, we're going to be very excited to see how well it helps improve the delivery system. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Rich. Uh, we have about one minute left. Do we have any questions? Hi, uh, my name is Eitan. Uh, I work at ASPE. I was wondering if you could go into more details on the joint project between 3M and Verily. Well, it's basically what we've done. We work with a lot of Medicaid. Obviously, we work with uh, the federal government. We MedPAC, and what we've done as 3M is go out there, just like we did in implementing the DRGs way back when, uh, we go out there and we implement systems with the objective of changing behavior, improving performance. And so we have a wide body of knowledge 
uh, we have a wide body of knowledge uh, in terms of how to do that. Uh, and so we've uh, evolved that into 30 or so measures of performance of a delivery system. But we realized that to actually do that, uh, it takes a staggering amount of computing power, a staggering amount of search capabilities. And so we asked ourselves, well, who do, you, who do we know out there in the industry that could actually give us the computing infrastructure, the computing horsepower to do what we want to do? We essentially created a combinatorial problem. If we're going to look at it across all these sites of service, across all these measures, for all the subpopulations, et cetera, uh, we will be looking at literally quadrillion of, of different possibilities, pockets of performance. And so that was a computing problem that was a little beyond our scope. And so we turned to Verily to partner with them to help us solve the technical aspects of the problem. 